In the past tutorial, we created this sign-up service. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to create the sign-up form. From here, as you can see, it's empty. I'm just going to paste the code and I explain it, all right, just to save your time. So if we go up, I've pasted it. That's a long sign-up form. So here we have, I pasted everything in between uh, this content from here down to here. I just pasted this. Now, what does this do? This basically takes, this basically an iron item. Let me delete this div. div. So, we just basically have an iron list, just like we did in the login form. Remember when we had the login form? Um, we just basically had an iron list and then uh, an iron list here every other thing is inside it so every other thing we have we have email here every everything is, is inside an ion item remember you can find these things in the ionic documentation on under inputs you can always see um every of this so we just the sign up form is basically a longer version of this where we have uh, different ion items describing different things so uh if we get back here we'll see that this one um basically asks for skill sets and um the input type is text then the variable we declared is the skills variable and then we have a placeholder same thing with this um, the email this collects the email input type is email and then we have the variable we declared and then we give an example with a placeholder and then same thing with the password iron item has password and then um, and so on and so forth we we'll collect the first name the last name the city the state the province the phone number so i would like to put phone number close to email very close to email cool and of course um delete the username so this is just a horizontal line just to make the form look cool and then um this basically asking if the person is looking for job and stuff so this is a sign up form we're just going to call it sign up so let's go and see this in action so you get an idea of what is there so this is a sign in form and um let's just uh, link this form we're supposed to link this form to a sign up as you can see this button doesn't do anything yet but we're going to link it immediately so we go to our code then inside our code we will uh, in this login function we have at the bottom of it this uh, button is supposed to lead us to the sign up page so what we're going to do is we're going to copy it inside the login we'll go to the login controller so remember what it's doing is when someone clicks this button what happens that's the onclick events so in the controller we'll define it at the bottom we'll define the redirect to sign up so what we're going to do is just when somebody when this function runs uh, we're going to redirect the user to the sign up page so this is how you redirect in, in ionic so but before you redirect to any page make sure you've imported it so how the I'll check, duplicate this one, then uh, import it using a sign up. This is the class for this page. Sign up. If we go to this sign up and check this class, and you will see that it is the class for this page. All right. So under login, we're back to login. Then we link to sign up. We are pointing to this sign up folder and then this sign up file. Then sign up again. With this sorted, we have imported the sign up page. We can now uh, use it in the nav push. So we're basically telling this page that it should push up, it should redirect to this sign up page when clicked. So if we go back and allow it to refresh, once the refresh is okay, we can now test this button and it should work perfectly. So this, this page is okay now. So if we click on this, 
it redirects us to this page and we have an error let me resolve this error to resolve this let us take another look let, let us click this button again and it's telling us no components of factory found for sign up page did you add it to ng module entry components of course we didn't uh, because if we come here and um, we'll go to our app remember i told you that sometimes you must list it manually sometimes it uh, it is listed automatically in your app module you need to import the page same thing we did we have to import the sign up page i will duplicate this sign up page then we do a pages we do a sign up sign up so you, we are basically telling our app that this page exists so we copy it then we'll go down here and uh, import it right here we have to import it here then we have to add it in the entry components so for every new page you create if it is not added automatically then we have to come here and do the same thing otherwise we'll run into this same error right so if we go back and allow it to refresh so um let us click this button now and see whether it will work out keep your eye on the top of the page if we click on create a new account as you can see we've been redirected to a page where we can create a new account and that is what we are uh, the forms we created in the in the sign up page as you can see these are the fields we created and it reads sign up page and it has this button to take us back to login page now what you have to understand is this app is basically plain and white i've not done any design works any fancy cool stuff design i'm just showing you walking you through how it works first maybe towards the end of the tutorial we'll come back and redesign these interfaces and make them super super cool so but you should just keep your concentration on how these things work all right so in this video what we just achieved is to create this form and then in the next video we will have to work on the the sign up .ts file which is the controller we just worked on the sign up file here as you can see it collects the user's details but we still need to forward it uh, from the controller here all right so thank you very much see you in the next video if you are looking for the code for this application the source code you can go to github.com slash de ozala slash ionic upload so at this point from here you can uh, access the source code for this whole project and of course don't forget to start it so um you can start this repo from there, alright? Thank you very much. See you in the next video.